Once you're in Premiere Pro and you organize everything to satisfy your OCD, we can finally get to work. Import your stock footage. Admire the fact that you probably won't be able to shoot as good a footage. Go to your room and sulk for a few minutes. Then get back to work. Hover over video track one, alt and scroll up to increase the size of the video. Right click on the little effects icon on the top left of your footage. Time remapping, speed. Control left click on the line going through the middle of the footage. Cool, you just made a thingy. Go further down in the timeline, but don't take too long. We're doing this the lazy way. Create another keyframe, drag it out. Now the time remapping won't start or stop abruptly. This is an easy ease keyframe. As a result, the time remapping will gradually take effect. Make your footage even bigger, because bigger is better. Between the two keyframes, drag the line up. This will increase the speed. There'll be a percentage sign. 100% is normal speed. Anything below 100% is slow motion. Anything above 100% is sped up footage. Keep in mind, your audio won't adjust in speed. Adjust your keyframes, because right now, they're too quick. The length of your footage will adjust because you're adjusting the time difference and also because it has a bad temper. Like a uh, dinosaur on crack. Select your keyframe by clicking on the white portion of that keyframe. Pull one of the handles of the keyframe. Ooh, that's so smooth. Do it again, because who doesn't like that? <coughs> nice. Play it back and see what it looks like. Realize that you can't view it because it's RAM preview is not ready. Start regretting that you don't have a good enough computer. Sequence, render into out. Great, now you can see it. Adjust the keyframes, because you were wrong. Oh, come on! <sighs> Sequence, render into out. Do you want to go to football? Uh, when? This afternoon, three. Um, I might be doing something with Steven, I'm not sure. How much are the tickets? Nothing. What? Um, no, I'm okay. I'm probably going to do something with Steven. Okay. Okay, thanks, sir. Maybe next yeah. time. Yeah. Bye. Realizing you can't really have a life, you get back to the task at hand. Cool, looks great. Tweak it the way you want. But there's another way to do this. Right click on your footage. Speed and duration. Adjust it by a percentage. Anything under 100% is slow motion. Anything above 100% is sped up footage. Slow it down to 35%. Change your time interpolation to optical flow. Now fast moving objects won't be so jerky. This is especially useful when you're trying to really crank your footage. The lower the percentage sign, the slower your footage. But the more jokey it could be depending on fast moving objects. Remember you didn't shoot in a higher frame rate. Shooting in 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second will give you more wiggle room when you're really trying to crank your footage. So go back to speed and duration and take it up to 50%. No, 40. Oh, and don't forget you can use the rate stretch tool by pressing R on your keyboard or you can just press this button. Now drag the end of your footage and it'll adjust the time. Now's the part where you subscribe. Thanks. Remember, keep smiling, keep shooting.